friends good morning i welcome you all for today's homeopathic awareness program my humble pranams to all my gurus teachers and masters my pranams to dr shamiul harman many homeo doctors dr raj gopal rao garu who was guru of our my guru dr chalpati garu pranams to dr chalpati garu sri ranganath rao garu ekirar krishna charul garu gopal krishna garu and many more homeo doctors who have served the community at large my pranams to all the senior members in my team dr shastri garu and my pranams to all the elders who are attending this program my whole hearted blessings to all the youngsters and yesterday we have our discussed about some of the remedies especially difference between tuberculinum and uh, bacillinum i explained so when one mr vikram garu mr. vikram garu sent one message yesterday night i saw that message this is the from alan key notes and characteristics by hc helen the in that uh, there is a footnote so it says what i told yesterday our guru has told the difference between the tuberculinum and bacillinum is tuberculinum pus tubercular pus before that uh, bacteria enters tubercular bacteria enters so that is potentized that is tuberculinum after the bacillus the bacteria entered and eaten away the <coughs> that uh, important contents of that after that it is potentized that is bacillinum so here hcl and combinedly all the symptoms are running together but uh, when i see the clark borick and kent lectures so i found there is a difference between the symptoms so that's what i explained yesterday so thank you vikram garu for uh, giving me the reference to substantiate the what i told what my guru has told me to substantiate somehow i have not come across because i have not gone through that uh, hcln uh, keynotes about the no sorts i have read about other medicines but thank you see i am happy that uh, some of you are uh, so much studying immediately going into various books then referring the what the information is given in the class whether it is correct or not finding out giving me feedback so that makes me very very happy in fact uh, i enjoy more in direct classes because i can see the faces i can see the reaction of the students how they are reacting how they are uh, you know whether they are understanding not understanding and uh, they and they don't understand they ask the questions so that will be quite interesting so but here what happens uh, i have to see my own face in the laptop and talk that is why evening uh, i am finding it uh, little uh, difficult because i am seeing only mine or uh, so i am seeing the notes and talking so i feel you know the sort of a sleepiness not finding a question whereas morning time as soon as get up generally i find uh, 
between four and six, anything study, mainly I do study between four and six. That is a quite, uh, um, no, very nice time for me. So this is a time uh, doing uh, class after four o'clock. So I feel more comfortable. So that is why I am doing in the morning. So thank you once again, Ikram Garu, for giving me the feedback. Then uh, I feel sad at uh, three things. One is our Dr. Robin Murphy. He left this world and uh, I and from somebody's message I came to know that he suffered uh, some uh, pneumonia or something like that and uh, passed away. So our Shraddhanjali condolences, our condolences to departed soul. He has uh, contributed a lot for homeopathy through his books. So, wonderful books. So, we are indebted to that great soul. My pranams and Shraddhanjali once again to him. And second person is, I have given message that who are all lectures giving in Telugu in YouTube because many people wanted me to do classes in Telugu. So, it's good. People, you ever uh, request, it is uh, genuine, okay? Being a uh, Telugu people, you want to um, understand in your own language. So, though there are other lectures, you feel that I can simplify the subject and uh, tell in a better way. That's what you feel. So, definitely, I will try to do it. Similarly, I want to do in Canada also with the help of my Canada friends, all my Canada friends, Mr. Nadigar, then um, our uh, Sudhindra and other people are also there. Many other people, Canadigas are there. So by using them more, here and there, I'll be talking. So I will also present because Canada, though I am not fluent like Canadigas, but I can speak good Canada, good Canada, I am telling you, good Canada, and I can write, I can read. So definitely I will do in Canada and Telugu. So uh, I will fulfill the wishes of uh, many of you. Okay. Then, our Venkata Shashayagaru, who was uh, doing uh, uh, lectures in YouTube, I have seen some of his videos on uh, making uh, uh, herbal decoctions. Initially, I saw herbal decoctions. Later on, some of these uh, homeopathic uh, videos also I have seen. He is a good speaker. He is nicely. He used to explain, but uh, yesterday uh, somebody has given a message that uh, he is no more. So I feel, and I saw that message for some time. Uh, so I my energy is drained out so much here because I'm feeling you know he is alive and doing the things and all that. Uh, so he is no more means uh, first. To Covid wave, he was alive and he has helped. I understand he has helped many people, but uh, I don't know whether he has uh, passed away due to Covid or something else. How he passed away, not known. But anyhow, he is no more. I feel very, very, very sad about uh, that losing such a great person. My humble pranams, Shraddhanjali, my condolences to departed soul of Venkata Shashay Garu. So, uh, so our great respect to him, departed soul. 
then third thing is recent rains have created havoc in south india many people suffered and lost their lives property and in karnataka tamil nadu then um, kerala then um, andhra pradesh andhra pradesh is worst hit tirupati we cannot even uh, you know imagine such a devastation has taken place and in kadapa district one village is completely washed out so luckily many people ran away the for the safety place but still almost some uh, 40 people the lost their lives so our shraddhanjali to all uh, the people all the south india who ever lost their lives so our shraddhanjali and uh, our condolences to departed souls and i request the you people whatever way possible try to help the uh, victims whatever way possible kindly if it is possible if it is they are you know in touch with you kindly help them and uh, throw voluntary organizations if you are not in a position to go there throw voluntary organization kindly donate and help the poor and needy people okay this is my request so let us hope so peep um, better days somehow uh, there is a, in tamil nadu the um, i ha- hats up to uh, chief minister who is taking so much personal care okay whereas uh, in um, andhra pradesh i feel bad that uh, uh it not attended properly they are you know victims are in a very very bad state i feel sad about uh, the state of affairs so with this we'll come into will our class about homeopathy but all these you know deaths so devastation all these things it is paining a lot so one side uh, covid another side the floods natural calamities then uh, some of the government inefficiency of the some of the governments to handle the situations all these things uh, it is hurting a lot then our next remedy is drosira drosira it is a anti tubercular because tubercular is a tubercular base is more spasmodic dry irritative cough spasmodic dry irritating cough like whooping cough the paroxysms hoarse paroxysms following each other very rapidly that is means uh, the cough attacks comes one after another very rapidly can scarcely breathe chokes choking cannot take breath then cough very deep and hoarse worse after midnight allo expectation with the bleeding from nose and mouth vomiting deep hoarse voice hoarseness laryngitis that is inflammation in the larynx a rough scraping sensation deep in the phases i told you what is phases that is back of the mouth that where the throat opening you know before that uh, whatever 
round portion that is phases and soft palate sensation as if scraps were in throat something some scrap is in throat a feather in larynx feather this uh, bird feathers are in larynx that is irritating laryngeal tuberculosis laryngeal tuberculosis tuberculosis of the larynx with a rapid emaciation losing of the flesh and becoming thin harassing and titillating cough in children not at all in the day time day time they are comfortable or very little cough but commences as soon as the head touches the filo at night see how nicely it is explained as soon as head touches the filo at the night that means as soon as child lies down person lies down cough starts continuous cough cannot sleep and cannot breathe and vomiting vomiting of phlegm sometimes blood from the nose blood from the throat and i used to see in my childhood this type of korintha daggu telugu okay this korintha daggu that is goofing cough children they used to suffer a lot once that comes that doesn't go so easily any amount of medication it won't help and uh, our um, elders they used to bring uh, from the field uh, some creeper some creeper they used to come they remove all the leaves make like a you know necklace necklace they used to make a round ring with uh, winding of that uh, hmm, creeper i do not know what is the creeper but they used to wind it and they used to put in the child's chest after putting that uh, ring then they start recovery how and all those things that may, may be because of that smell itself the medicinal quality comes from the some smell itself or contact with the skin that it absorbs like a potentized homeopathic medicine it is to absorb from the contact of this and cure takes place so they used to get cured there are lot of cases i used to see luckily i never got such a problem okay but many people once that comes they used to become thin whereas this drosera is an excellent medicine ah drosera is an excellent medicine such type of cough so whether it is a whooping hmm, cough or not whooping cough don't bother the symptom is uncontrollable spasmodic dry irritating cough and uh, one after another paroxysms no not much gap it comes continuous coughing it stops again it comes the fellow who whatever is eaten he vomits then a lot of uh, phlegm comes out then along with that uh, blood also comes from blood from the nose blood from the mouth the person starts thinning even acute cases also the severe uncontrollable cough they take lot of cough syrups but it doesn't help the symptom is as soon as lie down as soon as head touches the pillow the cough starts okay on that basis itself you can administer drosera 30 or 200 only one dose kindly do not repeat because if you are repeating you are spoiling the case drosera is a deep acting drug and single remedy single dose is enough okay many people i have seen some of the homeo healers or homeo doctors giving drosera daily two times three times like that we should not give okay 
the authenticity is Dr. Taylor, Dr. Emil Taylor. She has written a small article, a book. A book is there, Drosira, on book. In that, uh, how much authoritatively she has written? You know, only two people knows about Drosira functionality, greatness of the Drosira. That is, who are those two people? You know. one is dr samuel hanuman second is myself that's what uh, she greatly when i read that statement uh, i laughed like anything how adharti how much adharitatively she spoke about drosira okay so drosira should not be repeated kindly do not repeat one dose of uh, normally what i do we give One dose of Drosera, two hundred potency, only one dose, administer. So afterwards we give some epicac or some other more acute remedies you can give, uh, which will not interfere with Drosera. And otherwise you can use biochemical salt like our CCF combination. So water mixed, you know, you can give it. Generally, I give Drosera. Only one dose, followed with epicac, or with, sometimes I don't give epicac. I give only CCF bio powder and placebo blank pills. I'll give to satisfy the patient, to make the patient happy. So I will ask them to come and see after one week. So definitely after one week, uh, the problem within two three days problem resolved. Resolved. So after one week, if it is not completely solved, I will repeat one more dose. That's all. Maximum two doses, two hundred potency. It clears nicely. Okay. Drosera. Kindly remember, it is a very good drug for whooping cough. The symptom is the moment head touches the pillow, cough starts. Chronic sore throat of public speakers with the A rough, scraping, dry sensation deep in the phases that throat area, phases, voice hoarse, deep, toneless, cracked. Require exertion to speak. Requires exertion to speak. Asthma when talking with the contraction of the throat at every word uttered. This is all about Drosera only, okay? Chronic, long-standing sore throat. So kindly remember, long-standing sore throat. When other medicines doesn't help, so I give only one dose of Drosera 200, and I repeat in chronic cases only after 15 days. For 15 days, I do not repeat. Okay? Chronic sore throat or public speakers. with a rough scraping something you know scratching sensation dry sensation deep in the phases that inside the muscles of the throat and palate you know voice sore hoarse voice sore deep toneless cracked requires exertion to speak asthma when talking and talking asthmatic attack with the contraction of the throat at every word uttered okay i hope you remember drosera well and use it whenever there is a need okay then next drug is dalkamara dalkamara cough worse cold wet weather in worse during cold wet weather with free expectoration tickling and larynx cough hoarse spasmodic whooping cough here also whooping cough with excessive secretion of mucus lot of mucus winter coughs dry teasing asthma with breathlessness loose rattling cough Worse wet weather, must cough 
for a long time to expel phlegm, cough after physical exertion. So here, the wheezing and cough, lot of phlegm formation and breathlessness, sometimes suffocating type. So all these things are worse rainy weather, damp weather, rainy season. It is a rainy season remedy. So we started earlier in summer season, we were using more of bryonia, belladonna for acute conditions. We were giving more. Whereas uh, now rainy season started. So we switched over to now um, Dalkamara, then uh, China, Antrim Tart, then uh, Natrum Sulf, Rustox. These are the medicines uh, we are using now for the acute cold, cough, chest congestion, all these things we are using more Dalkamara. So Dalkamara during rainy season. So I have seen uh, my friend's uh, wife, Mr. Balakrishna Garu, who was a former uh, deputy director that is uh, of uh, uh, yeah, gas turbine research establishment. His wife used to suffer with asthma. One day I saw, we were talking, sitting in the hall. Then outside it started raining. That's all. The amount of rain started, she started, you know, her wheezing attack. So at that time only I understood she needs Dalkamara. So I gave Dalkamara to her. It wonderful it has worked for her. Okay. So rainy weather outside, she is not in the rain, but she is outside. She, she, uh, rain, it is raining outside, she is in the house. But still, she got the problem. So dampness itself, the damp uh, air, damp air itself uh, causes the problem. So that is why these people are comfortable covering the face. They have to cover the face. Okay? Then they feel comfortable. Then there is another remedy, Eriodiction, okay, E R I O D I C C T Y O N, a remedy for asthmatic and bronchial affections, bronchial tuberculosis with night sweats and emaciation, night sweats and emaciation. That means what it indicates, it indicates of tubercular nature, okay, tuberculous nature. Problem is uh, based on tuberculosis. So a person has got a tubercular tendency or tuberculosis, okay, or history of tuberculosis in the family. So asthma relieved by expectation. Asthma relieved by expectation. It is similar to antim tart. Antim tart also and uh, relieved by expectation. Okay. <coughs> Cough after influenza, after influenza and flu. Even COVID. COVID is influenza. Okay. So further uh, furthers absorption of effusion in fluor clarity. For floral cavity. That floral cavity, whatever pus is there, it helps to absorb into the system and throw it. Okay? To clear from the system, it helps. That means it works as like a scavenger. Further absorption of a fusion in floral cavity. Appetite, poor and impaired digestion. No proper digestion, poor digestion, and no hunger. Even that, uh, see, cough, asthma, breathlessness, hungerlessness, sweating, thinning, thinning down. So all this, uh, see, if you go to other systems of medicine, you have to use number of medicines and very powerful remedies. But here, if you know the symptoms properly, 
symptoms you have to find out properly. That is a tough task, but you have to use your intelligence. You have to find out. So if you select the remedy, that works wonderful. Okay. Then whooping cough. Whooping cough. You see, three drugs. The drosera is for whooping. Any medicine will work for you. Whooping cough also, but symptoms. According to the symptoms, you should treat. Then whooping cough, wheezing, asthma with cold and mucus secretions. Lot of cold and mucus secretion. Dull pain in right lung. Right lung there is always dull pain. Burning in phases. That is the back of the throat, back of the mouth. There is a burning sensation. Then chronic bronchitis, bronchial tuberculosis with profuse, easy rise bronchial secretion gives relief. The profuse phlegm comes out. After this phlegm comes out, they feel lot of comfort, relief. This is about erudition. Okay. So, you can, you know, these are all useful for chronic problems. Chronic problem, problem. Suppose uh, antrum tart type of problem. Antrum tart is not helping. Then you can go for erudition. Okay. So, like this, uh, you, sh you ha should have a lot of, uh, mm, no. what is it? Um, Armory, lot of uh, arms in your armory. See, uh, what uh, Arjuna has done, Arjuna and Pandavas have done in these 14 years of that Vanavasa is there, you know, in that uh, they have collected a uh, lot of arms to um, fight against the injustice. It here we should take uh, as a, whether Kauravas or Pandavas have not. Uh, the, the justice, fight against the injustice. For that, uh, you require proper tools, proper instruments or proper arms. So, Pandavas have collected all that arms, mainly Arjuna. Arjuna has uh, collected arms to fight with uh, against injustice. Here, we have to collect uh, all this uh, knowledge about the remedies uh, to fight about uh, dreaded diseases, to give comfort to the suffering of humanity. Lot of human beings are suffering with various uh, diseases. Uh, apart from this, uh, drug diseases also, they are suffering. So, our uh, responsibility is to help the needy and suffering humanity. See, if you are a qualified doctor, definitely you should charge, see, properly, according to your capacity, you should prop charge properly and treat, give proper treatment. Give, see, study the patient properly. Take the case totality properly and give proper treatment to cure and give great relief to the suffering humanity. Suppose if you are not a qualified doctor, don't go for you know treating all others. You treat only for you, your family members and your close people, okay, whom you want to help, you want to take care. This knowledge will help. Okay. So uh, there is no bar in treating your own people your close friends who are willing and yourself, yourself, your close members, close family members, you should help. Okay. Otherwise, depending upon so much, you know, okay, we are ready to go to any system. But the system is so became, became so much rotten now. Even a fellow who goes with simple fever and cough, that fellow has been uh, totally, his health has been spoiled by the corrupt medical system. I am not talking about the fellows uh, who are ethical, 
who are doctors, medical doctors who are ethical and doing wonderful treatment, giving wonderful treatment, my pranams to them. But uh, we are pained, we are hurt by seeing recently one person has come. That person, he has gone with a two days fever. His total health has been spoiled and made lakhs of rupees billing. Okay. And he is not in a position to eat food now. And he is not, uh, not able to sit for a little more time and work, perform his official work. He is suffering a no sleep, no proper sleep. His total energy is drained out so much he has been pumped with uh, drugs, medicines. And he has spent 8 lakhs rupees. Okay. This type of uh, corrupt system is going on. So, there is no control on that. Sorry to say. Achar may be the government. So, there is no proper control on this corrupt medical system, which has become like an industry. Industry. Okay. So, but whereas our pranams to all the medical doctors who have done wonderful work, many medical doctors lost their lives in the doing the service. So, we feel sad about them. Okay? You should have knowledge about all these medicines and take care of your own kith and kin, your loud people, your loud people. Okay? And next drug is euphrasia. Euphrasia, breathing difficult, oppressed. You know, difficult breathing, as if lot of pressure on the in the chest, as if chest were not wide enough. Spasmatic dry cough, day and night, with asthma, violent, fluent cold, violent and fluent cold discharge, with burning and cough, constant cough, with stitches from pit of the stomach. See, it stitches from the pit of the stomach, from the stomach to chest, stomach to sides of chest, sides of chest. Kuroop, dry, hollow cough, warm feeling in chest, as if hot food had been swallowed. Warm feeling in the chest, as if you have swallowed hot food and which is causing burning in the chest area. That hot food has gone and stuck in the chest and it is warm. At that time it is warm. Such a feeling, euphrasia helps. Euphrasia is a very good eye remedy, discharge of water with burning in eyes. And we are as bland discharge from the nose. In the nose it don't burn, but eyes it burns. So that's such a symptom, lot of cold, watery discharge, violent, fluent cold with the chest congestion, as if chest is narrow and congested, difficult breathing, spasmodic cough, dry cough, day and night, all these conditions, euphrasia is an acute remedy. So as an acute drug, it works wonderful. Okay. Then, eupatorium perf. Eupatorium perf. The name for the eupatorium perf is bone set. Okay. It is a bo, so pay, pay in the flu. It is a very good remedy for the flu. In the flu, what are the dominant symptoms? Severe pain in the bones. So, bone pains, severe bone pains will be there. So, eupatorium perf, cold with sneezing, hoarseness and cough with soreness in the chest, not support the chest, flu with great soreness of 
muscles and bones complete soreness of muscles and bones chronic loose cough chest sore worse at night cough relieved by getting on hands and knees that hands and knees that is dog like a dog you know putting staying on hands and knees you uh, say that cough is relieved feels comfort so such cough you can think of eupatorium perfu eupatorium perfu it is a one of the very good remedies in dengue fevers so it helps a lot and uh, even for the what is that chicken gunia is a wonderful remedy it has helped uh, large number of population severe unbearable pains okay and uh, fever can uh, many people suffer their lot especially i think uh, uh, 99 uh, so year i do not exactly remember so that year onwards uh, people started suffering now the intensity has come down chikungunya intensity but after all dengue has become more popular after dengue now the covid after covid has uh, come down again dengue uh, cases are more dengue and uh, covid the treatment is different because uh, in case of dengue blood you know destruction of blood takes place whereas uh, in um, other place uh, that blood uh, you know uh, clotting blood clotting should be stopped so in um, covid so these are all opposite treatment recently uh, maybe about two months back i think one doctor from vijayawada from famous hospital she, she was working i saw in the news andhra hospital i think she was working she is young doctor she has uh, she herself took the treatment thinking that covid but she exact actually she had dengue but she took a wrong treatment because of wrong treatment her condition became worse and she lost her life okay so this is the difficulty in other systems of medicine but if you know about homeopathy in the beginning itself if you find out properly symptoms and give it a problem resolved at the beginning when the when the disease is sprouting sprout is coming when the sprout is coming from the thing even you don't want when the uh, plant is coming from the in your uh, uh, compound uh, some unwanted plants are coming is it not easy to remove with your two fingers you can remove it is it not but once it becomes let me see it may be very good tree it may be very useful to me for my family it may give mango fruits because i have not seen mango tree how it will be so i thought one thing is coming on plant i thought it is a mango tree it has grown for 5 6 years it became very hard then afterwards it gave the fruits which was very very bitter and you know it is giving lot of nausea and all those things it may be useful for medicinal purpose but i don't know but it is waste for me so to remove that tree what i have to do i have to call laborers to cut that to remove that it's a big work i have to spend lot of money okay it is like that when you know have got homeopathic knowledge when the disease is small plant this much like our finger or like this much for 4 inches 5 inches plant we can remove with two or three fingers we can remove and throw it like that it is like that once if it grows it becomes a big and lakhs of rupees you have to spend or crores or bal bal subramanian gar great singer gal bal subramanian gar it would have solved very easily but he went and stayed in a corporate hospital oh he is improving very well that this so finally what happened so much time he stayed what happened many doctors they try to condemn homeopathy 
Ayurveda and other systems. But what they have done? Many simple cases, they became complicated and they lost their lives. Even after spending lot of money. I am not suspecting their sincerity. But there is a limitation in the system. System limitation is there. Every system has got its own limitations. They should accept that. They should allow other systems also properly. If they don't have the knowledge, kindly learn. Okay, don't condemn just like that the system. Okay. Then next. So, cough relieved by getting on hands and knees. This is about Eupatorium perf. The next remedy is Ferumphas. Ferumphas, see, this is the remedy I told repeatedly for every problem, Ferumphas comes. Initial stage of problem, when the problem is in the beginning, a small plant like disease, okay, it can be resolved easily. First stage of in all inflammatory affections, Ferumphas helps. Congestion of lungs, bleeding from lungs, short, painful, tickling cough, short, painful, tickling cough, okay. croup, hard, dry cough, with a sore chest, chest is sore, pain in the chest, soreness, hoarseness, rough voice, expectoration of pure blood in pneumonia. You see, expectoration of pure blood in pneumonia. Let it be pneumonia, let it be something else. You take the symptoms, treat, you will be successful. Okay, don't bother about the name, whether it is a COVID or pneumonia, fluorescy or something, something like that, you need not bother. Okay, that's what uh, I have done in my life uh, and I never depended on, on any test report. Test reports are least important for me. Okay, only criteria is total symptoms, total symptoms, not one symptom or two symptoms. So, not uh, address means uh, Total address you have to take, not uh, one Ramarao. Ramarao, this letter to be delivered. Can we deliver in uh, CV Ramanagar? No, it is not possible. Total address. So, total symptoms you have to take. And including modalities. And how causative factor, causative factor also should be considered. Okay. Because of what this problem has developed, that also should be considered. Okay. First stage of in all inflammatory affections, congestion of lungs, bleeding from lungs, short, painful, tickling cough, croup, hard, dry cough, with sore chest, hoarseness, expectation of pure blood in pneumonia, then cough better at night, palpitation. Pulse rapid, rapid pulse, like in Econite, you know, rapid pulse. So, some of the, many of the Econite symptoms, Ferumphas has got, many of the Belladonna, Ferumphas has got. It is like in between Econite and Belladonna. Okay. First stage of cardiac diseases. So, first stage of cardiac diseases. So, heart problems also in initial stage you can treat with ferrum fast. That is why uh, I was very successful with uh, two remedies, ferrum fast and Kalimur. These two remedies only, I used to take care of my family and my close friends. I used to take care. Okay. First stage of cardiac diseases, short, quick, soft pulse. Short, quick, soft pulse. So, this pulse related issues, palpitation also, ferrum fast helps. Okay? You can have all this knowledge with you, and whenever there is a need, appropriate medicine, you should select and use it. Okay? Take the help of your seniors. 
graphites graphites constriction of chest spasmodic asthma suffocative attacks wakes up from sleep must eat something they have to eat something okay then pain middle of the chest pain in the middle of the chest with cough scraping scraping and soreness scraping sensation and soreness in the chest chronic hoarseness with skin affections see chronic hoarseness with skin affections skin problems graphites is more predominant in skin problems so we can think of graphites when there is a chest related problem associated with skin problems hoarseness on beginning of singing and breaking of voice in the beginning of singing hoarseness so breaking of voice so all these conditions graphites is very good remedy our next remedy is heparsulf which we use more, more in bangalore bangalore weather conditions uh, very well useful okay because dry cold weather is more except during rainy weather other times dry cold weather lot of sneezing chest congestions and sinusitis sinusitis is more you know bangalore many people suffer from sinus related issues okay so for that uh, is a wonderful remedy so cough on exposure to dry cold wind hoarseness with the loss of voice hoarseness with loss of voice cough troublesome when walking dry hoarse cough excited whenever any part of the body gets cold or uncovered or eating anything cold see fellow is sleeping wrapping himself completely completely wrapped and uh, in between that uh, one hand or leg comes out of the the wrapping or uh, that uh, blanket then exposed to cool breeze then either he gets sneezing cold or cough cough with hoarseness he will get it so much sensitiveness highly sensitive okay so it is a very good remedy okay so any part of the body gets uncovered so they get cold, cold they get exposed to cold air then uh, or eating anything cold or drinking anything cold then also they get into dry hoarse cough excited when never any part exposed okay group with loose rattling cough worse in the morning choking cough rattling croaking cough suffocative attacks has to rise up and bend the head backward see you heard you should know certain information in case of heparsulf when the suffering is there fellow feels comfortable by bending the head backward like this like this you have to how much possible so much head has to be bent backward feels comfortable in case of arsenic uh, sitting slant like this backward with a slant position or sitting erect 
comfortable. In case of antrim tart, sitting straight. In case of kali carb, sitting, bending forward, putting the hand on the table and bending forward or sitting, you know, bending, supporting the body like this or sitting, holding head like this or with a support on the print, bending forward, kali carb. In kali carb, he is better by warm room, warm drinks, uh, comfortable. Whereas, uh, opposite to that, China Ars is there. China Ars is comfortable by bending forward, comfortable like Kali Carb, but wants cool breeze from outside. Or you want warm water, warm water, drinking warm water, comfortable, and cool breeze, comfortable. And bending Kali Carb. Kali Carb and Kali China Ars both are bending forward, comfortable. In case of, suppose somebody is having severe cough and wheezing and they are comfortable by bending forward and does not want cool breeze, so then Kali Carb is the remedy. But they want, window should be open, cool breeze should come and comfortable by warm drinks, then China Ars is the remedy. So like that, positions, depending upon the position also, you have to select the remedy. Okay. In case of apart self, bending head backward like this, they are comfortable. Then, anxious, wheezing, moist breathing, asthma worse in dry cold air, better in damp weather, rainy weather, damp weather, they are comfortable. Palpitation of the heart, Severe palpitation of the heart associated with all this uh, congestion in the chest or sinus related problems and palpitation. The hepar self helps. With. Then, next is hypericum. Hypericum, we generally know that it is a good remedy for the injuries to the nerves. Is it not? We remember only by that. But it is a good remedy for asthma. Worse in foggy weather, fog, complete fog only, nothing else. Other day, in 2014 or 2012, I think, uh, we went to Sikkim. Myself and my wife, uh, like, uh, uh, you know, um, like honeymoon, we went there. Okay. So, we were in the cloud. We are in the cloud. Like uh, cinema, old cinemas, uh, they used to show, you know, that... Uh, uh, this uh, ga uh, goddess uh, or god or this Devakanyas, they are in the cloud, they are, uh, they are coming like that. Uh, we both were in the cloud because completely around us, uh, cloud only. We have gone to some place, China border, some place we have gone. Just you can see China other side. Okay, So completely cloud only. We are in the cloud, nothing can be seen, that is completely fog. So, in that condition, if somebody gets asthma, asthmatic attack, foggy weather, so completely around fog only. So, hypericum is an excellent remedy. So, relieved by profuse perspiration, perspiration, sweat, profuse sweat. Okay. So, profuse sweat relieves. Okay. This is the symptom you can remember. Okay. Then, Ignatia. Next remedy is Ignatia. Ignatia dries spasmodic cough in quick successive shocks. Quick continuous shocks of cough and reflex cough. Coughing increases to desire to cough. So, there is a, one remedy. Scratching increases to desire to scratch. What is the remedy? Do you know? It is arsenic carb. Once if you start scratching, want to scratch. And similarly, when that fellow 
is having and stitching is there pouring hot warm water or little more than warm water if you pouring they feel ah nice comfortable want to pour 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 go on pouring similarly once scratching go on scratching they feel comfortable similarly in case of ignatia once coughing want to cough desire to cough continuously so that is a successive shocks of cough much sighing ah <sighs> like that you know and sighing completely and never in a sad state and never we are you know disappointed state sad state we get after weeping we get do sighing you know <sighs> like that we do sighing you know that is called sighing so this is there is coughing increases cough much sighing sighing is there in ignatia spasmodic cough worse in the evening little expectation leaving pain in trachea trachea means the respiratory tube is called trachea pain in the trachea okay so this is about ignatia okay so especially this cough if it comes after some sadness some disappointment that's okay after feeling so much sadness about listening so many sad news like what we heard last few days okay last few months we are listening so many sad news so heart our chest becomes heavy and breathing you know difficult breathing then continuous successions of cough and sighing all these uh, things uh, indicates ignatia okay then next remedy is wonderful remedy uh, many people use this remedy that is ipecac many people even in the beginning of the learners uh, they use uh, ipecac is uh, works wonderful what is the blindly how we should remember ipecac all mucous membranes will become active when they become active what is the function of the mucous membranes tell me what is the function of the mucous membranes it has to secret the mucus it has to release the mucus from this mucus suppose nose mucous membrane it has to keep it wet you know it has to keep the wet so that we will not have difficulty in breathing uh, all unwanted uh, toxins will be arrested here itself it will come out it has got function your mouth also there is a mucus if the mucus is not there we find it difficult our mouth will stuck if the eyes also has got mucus otherwise eyelids will get stuck so in the rectum also inside also there is a mucus so that stool comes out easily so like that everywhere it is it has to secret the mucus suppose it becomes active what it happens lot of mucus will be coming out it will discharge lot of mucus it will produce lot of mucus so epicac condition is lot of mucus formation on that condition it works whereas in case of opposite of this what is the remedy opposite epicac bryonia bryonia mucus membranes are dry complete dryness it is not secreting the mucus that is why dry cough our mouth is dry nose is dry eyes are dry rectum is dry when the rectum is dry that solid lump of stool comes with lot of difficulty with hardness that rectum is cut okay dryness that is bryonia so opposite to bryonia is epicac mucus membranes are more active so an excellent remedy for severe chest congestion full of phlegm in the chest but cannot be expelled 
violent and continuous cough with breathlessness and suffocation, bubbling and rattling sound in the chest, bubbling that water is boiling on the stove. You are busy with your mobile and that you know you have kept the water on the uh, stove. You are heating the water that is uh, not only became hot, uh, it started uh, you know bubbling. Lot of uh, um, these uh, bubbles are coming and steam is coming out and that plate is jumping and it is aluminium plate you have kept. That plate is jumping on the vessel. So that is called bubbling. Bubbling, rattling sound in the chest. Asthma with breathlessness and severe constriction in the chest. Severe constriction because uh, no place for the air to go into the lungs. No place for the oxygen. Completely filled with a lot of mucus. Repeated doses of epicoc in shorter intervals gives difficult, uh, gives quick relief. See, I give in such conditions, epicoc, take 10 pills in half cup of water. Every 10 minutes or every 15 minutes, 1-1 one, one teaspoon water. If you take uh, after 3-4 doses of uh, epicoc, lot of phlegm comes out. That uh, like a cough it comes uh, and lot of phlegm is vomited through vomiting or through nose or through uh, throat, it comes out. Lot of phlegm. So repeated doses, it is an acute remedy. You can repeat the doses in an interval of 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you can repeat. Okay, epicoc. So it is a wonderful remedy. In our whole use, uh, practice of homeopathy, epicoc did wonders, wonders it has done. Emergency cases, it has brought out from the ICU. So my humble pranams to Dr. Samuel Hanuman and other homeo doctors who have given such wonderful remedies. Okay. So, woofing cough with bleeding from nose and mouth, epicoc for anti bleeding remedy, any source, anywhere, it arrests the red bleeding anywhere, maybe from the Ears, maybe from the nose, maybe from the mouth, maybe from the uterus or anywhere. To arrest the bleeding, it's a very good remedy. Okay, even from the injuries, to stop the bleeding, epicoc works very well. Repeated doses of epicoc does wonders. Then, yearly attacks of difficult, short, Shortness of breath, breathing, yearly attacks of difficult and shortness of breathing, continued sneezing, cold, cough, sneezing, wheezing, cold, discharge of more mucus, water discharge, cough, cold, sneezing, cough, wheezing, all these conditions, uh, epicoc helps very well. In the beginning of this problem, if you start, it works wonderful. Cough non-stop and violent. Child becomes stiff and face turns blue. That means oxygen content is less. Hoarseness, especially at the end of the cold. When the cold starts, it is converting into cough. At the end of the cold, hoarseness starts. That hoarseness, then cough develops, then wheezing develops, the severe chest condition develops, and he will suffocate, and they get admitted in the ICU. ICU, they will be trying their level best. That congestion will not get clear. Then at that time, we send epicoc and antimplot, both alternatively, one hourly once, when it is administered, lot of phlegm comes out. In ICU, again they keep in the, what is that, uh, uh, AC. That AC aggravates the chest congestion again. So, one side 
trying to clear the problem. Another side, atmosphere is increasing the problem. So there is a conflict in ICU, especially chest conditions, especially people who are sensitive to cold, ICU is not at all good. Okay. So Hippocrates helped many people, many children we have saved, many old people we have saved from in the ICU itself. So complete loss of voice. Complete loss of voice after cold has developed, cold became, became this spoiled the, this, uh, uh, what is that, uh, respirate, hmm. vocal cord. It affected the vocal cord, then complete loss, hoarseness and loss of voice, then cough, chest congestion, wheezing, all these problems. Hoarseness, especially at end of the cold, complete loss of voice, severe congestion in the chest, bursting, crushing, headache, with nausea and vomiting. So because of this coughing, bursting headache, bursting headache is there in bryonia also. Here also bryonia because of dryness. Whereas epicoc is because of excess mucus, excess mucus in the chest, excess mucus in the sinus area, excess mucus in the throat, excess mucus everywhere. So because of that, uh, when coughing, bursting headache, as if uh, his head is going to burst into pieces, such type of, uh, so has to hold the head. All these uh, conditions, uh, epicoc helps very well. Even woofing cough is an excellent remedy. So that is why what I used to do with this type of symptoms, Drosira 200, one dose. On that day, no other medicine. Next day onwards, Epicac 30, daily 3 doses. And CCF bio water. It gives wonderful cure. Wonderful cure. Okay. Then, this uh, asthmatic attacks as an acute SOS remedy, you can use Epicac. Epicac, Aspidosperma, then uh, uh, adrenaline, these are the remedies, uh, works uh, as SOS uh, in wheezing problem, asthmatic attack, suffocation, breathlessness, uh, and completely, and especially in Ipecac, uh, where lot of phlegm is there and not coming out easily, such conditions, uh, it helps very well. In case of small children, what happens, uh, he, as soon as uh, Ipecac is started, the small children, they fast loose motions. Why they fast loose motions? All phlegm goes through loose motions. But ignorant mothers, what they do? Immediately, they administer to medicine to stop diarrhea. Then what happens? The diarrhea stops. Loose motion will stop. But chest will become heavily congested. More congestion it will be. Because all that again goes to the chest. So, whenever there is a chest congestion and after giving our homeopathic medicine, loose motions are there, lot of phlegm comes foamy foamy. Phlegm comes through loose motions. That should be allowed. Few loose motions will be there. That will not cause any weakness and tiredness. It will not be there. In fact, a child will feel more energetic recovery more active so child will not become weak that is healthy loose motions whatever the toxins are there in the system whatever the unwanted phlegm is there in the mucous membranes or in the chest in the throat everything goes through motion outside that's all complete lot of mucus will be there in the motion you can see okay so, you kindly do not stop such motions. So, better to administer one dose of Basilinum 200 or Basilinum 1M and continue with your treatment. That works wonderful. Okay. Basilinum helps to cleanse complete body, all the toxic material or with the, what is that, bacteria. The bacteria, a lot of bacteria is there. All that bacteria also 
bacillinum makes inactive okay it will destroy the bacteria so it will throw it out okay then next one is gestitia gestitia ada toda it is a age old remedy used by ayurvedic system or ayurvedic doctors they were using gestitia ada toda uh a lot even other systems also they may be using gestitia i don't know okay gestitia ada toda is basically herbal remedy it is herbal i uh, even uh, tribals were using this uh, extensively ayurvedic doctors were using okay same thing is adopted in homeopathy okay so dry cough from sternal region sternal means here all over the chest from here all over the chest it extends dry cough and hoarseness loss of voice or strained voice larynx painful larynx is a uh, that uh, tube where this vocal cord is there that tube is painful then paroxysmal cough waves like waves uh, cough comes with suffocative obstruction of respiration suffocative obstruction of respiration then cough with sneezing severe breathlessness with cough tightness across the chest like bryonia bryonia type of symptoms then asthmatic attacks cannot bear closed warm room you see you same mantra if you go to other system same mantra is other system is not uh, ayurveda i am telling ayurveda also different whereas if you go to allopathic system so we have come okay we administer antibiotics then steroids like that one a sort of a protocol they call it as protocol that protocol is followed but here in homeopathy it is not like that homeopathy had it been allowed in the beginning itself in our country most probably so many deaths would not have taken place so it is the with the kind blessings of the supreme court the doctors other systems doctor got permission to treat the thing thereby many patients have been saved okay so dry cough from sternal region all over the chest hoarseness larynx painful larynx means here painful and chest is heaviness whole chest affected then suffocative obstruction of respiration cough with sneezing severe breathlessness with cough tightness across the chest asthmatic attacks cannot bear a closed warm room Whooping cough, continuous cough, nothing comes out. Then I have treated uh, one gentleman who has spent a uh, lot of money, lot of money has spent in lakhs, not in, uh, in uh, thousands, lakhs of, of rupee he spent, but his cough could not be cured. So finally he came to our dispensary. So we found, I found completely only. gestitia symptoms so dry bryonia type of symptoms but you know all gestitia symptoms are there so dry hacking dry cough and this is the more affected so lot of discomfort in the sternal region which is extending to the complete chest then he he is comfortable in the fresh air he is not comfortable in warm room that is why night he is to suffer a lot continuous cough so i have given only gestitia 30 daily through the three doses i gave him for 15 days ask him to come back so after 15 days he came then he want to touch my feet so i prevented so he said in this after started this medicine third day onwards i started sleeping so comfortably so nicely for so many months i have suffered 
then uh, so much medication are taken. All specialist doctors have got so much file of test reports, but no relief. I used to get some relief, and I used to suffer again. I used to get some relief again, suffer. No, I almost eight months I suffered. So what is the remedy I gave him? I gave him uh, tuberculinum one and one dose. Next day no medicine. Third day onwards justicia thirty I uh, have given, and he became completely has been cured. Okay, he is forty years person. Forty years person. He he is working in a software company. Okay, then next remedy is kali by chromic. You know very well what is kali bichromicum. Kali bichromicum potassium dichromate. I told you when I was working in Defence Metallurgical Research Laboratory, we were cleaning our, we developed copper beryllium alloy, copper, and two percent of beryllium, one point seven percent of beryllium added. We made an alloy. That alloy, alloy is very good. Uh, it uh, after cleaning with uh, chemical cleaning, it looks like gold. That uh, copper beryllium alloy looks like gold. You can, uh, you know, sell like gold, but uh, that is not good for health. Wearing that uh, um, uh, copper beryllium alloy, if the jewelry is made wearing, it is not at all good for health. It is uh, beryllium is a toxic material. Okay, it is very good for uh, electronic contact materials. Uh, it is very good material, and uh, um, this uh, um, there are different compounds, three types of alloys. One is for the spring material, another is for uh, um, ha hard ha hammers to make uh, hard material like uh, non-sparking tools. Made another is uh, electronic components. Okay. This uh, we have made that alloys. That alloy, when uh, 1.7 percent uh, beryllium content alloy, if it is uh, after chemical cleaning, uh, it looks like a gold. Okay. So with uh, what solution we used to clean? We used to clean with kali bichromicum solution, potassium dichromate solution. Initial stages, I was not knowing that uh, the danger of the Thing because I newly joined uh, Defence Metallurgical Research Laboratory. I was working in a copper beryllium development project. I was a very active member in the team, five members team in that uh, working team. I am the working member, okay? Because I was a junior scientific assistant, so I have to do all the uh, practical work. So when uh, that is being called. Stingy mucus after exposure to that uh, thing, that other fellow operator was wearing all that mask. This guy was not wearing, so I thought, uh, no, I uh, there is nothing will happen. But uh, after one hour, uh, stingy discharges started from the my nose, eyes, throat, everywhere. Stingy discharges, okay, sticky, sticky, stingy discharge. So uh, same night I suffered from cough. Next day, I was lot of uh, uh, sticky phlegm in my throat, chest congestion. All this, uh, I became a prover. I became a prover. Of course, at that time, I was not knowing about homeopathy much. So I went to our central government health scheme. I got treated. Okay, that is a different matter. Voice hoarse, worse in the evening, metallic hacking cough. The cough is uh, like uh, if you hit on the brass um, metal, the sound comes. You know that type of sound uh, when coughing. So at that time when I exposed uh, was exposed, uh, I developed that hacking metallic cough. I had metallic hacking cough. I developed. Okay, it uh, the allopathic system also. Our doctor Subbaygaru, great homeopathic, great medical doctor. Uh, Subhagaru, he has treated, of course, he has not given many medicines. Subhagaru does not give many medicines, very less medicine only. 
ఐ గాట్ క్యూర్డ్ వెరీ నైస్లీ ఓకే సెంట్రల్ గవర్నమెంట్ అంత హెల్త్ స్కీమ్ డాక్టర్ ఆఫ్టర్ వర్డ్స్ హీ బికేమ్ మీనో హీ వాజ్ ది హెడ్ ఆఫ్ ది బెంగళూర్ హెల్త్ ఎర్లియర్ హీ వాజ్ ఇన్ హైదరాబాద్ ఈ బికేమ్ బెంగళూర్ సిజిహెచ్ఎస్ హెడ్ ఈ బికేమ్ అండ్ ఆర్ నౌ హీఈస్ నో మోర్ హీఈస్ ది పర్సన్ డాక్టర్ సుబ్బయ్య గారు ఈజ్ ది పర్సన్ హూ హ్యాస్ ఎంకరేజ్ మీ అబౌట్ హోమియోపతి ఏ లాట్ మై హంబుల్ ప్రణామ్స్ టు డాక్టర్ సుబ్బయ్య గారు హూ హ్యాస్ గివెన్ మీ గ్రేట్ సపోర్ట్ టు లెర్న్ హోమియోపతి ఓకే సో ప్రొఫ్యూస్ ఎల్లో ఎక్స్పెక్టరేషన్ వెరీ స్టికీ స్టింజీ అండ్ వెరీ టినేషియస్ మాస్ టినేషియస్ స్టికీ ఇట్ వాంట్ కమ్ అవుట్ లైక్ బబుల్ గమ్ యూనో బబుల్ గమ్ టిక్లింగ్ ఇన్ ది లారింగ్స్ టిక్లింగ్ ఇన్ ది లారింగ్స్ క్యాటరల్ లెరంగైటిస్ కాఫ్ హ్యాస్ బ్రాసీ సౌండ్ బ్రాసీ సౌండ్ ఐ టోల్డ్ యూనో బ్రాస్ మెటీరియల్ ఇఫ్ హీట్ ఇట్ వాట్ సౌండ్ ఇట్ మేక్స్ దట్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ సౌండ్ ట్రూ మెంబరేనస్ క్రూప్ ఎక్స్టెండింగ్ టు లారింగ్స్ అండ్ నేర్స్ cough with pain in sternum pain in sternum extending to shoulders shoulders it is extended worse when undressing pain in bif- bifurcation of trachea see trachea comes like this then it goes to both the lungs so pain at the bifurcation that means under the sternum okay then pain at the bifurcation of trachea and coughing from mid sternum center of the sternum to back pain from here to back heart dilation especially <coughs> from coexisting kidney lesion heart dilation and kidney lesion together so by kali bicromicum helps very well cold feeling around the chest around the heart not the chest around the heart inside a feeling of coldness so cold feeling around the heart kali bicromicum so now i think you remember kali bicromicum very well uh, it is a brassy metallic sound profuse sticky stingy very difficult yellowish phlegm will come out okay sticky like bubble gum next is kali carb kali carb cutting pain in the chest worse on right side right side it is worse hoarseness and loss of voice dry hard cough at 3 pm 3 pm is the predominant okay then with stitching pain and dryness in the throat bronchitis whole chest is very sensitive whole chest is very sensitive expectoration scanty and tenacious but increasing in the morning after eating aggravated in right lower chest and lying on painful side painful side lying down is worse expectoration must be swallowed cheesy taste copious offensive lump coldness of the chest complete chest is cold feeling cough with relaxed uvula uvula means small tongue hanging tongue that gets relaxed extends and it causes lot of cough tendency to tuberculosis constant cold better in warm climate warm room warm drinks leaning forward relieves chest symptoms leaning forward like this i told you, you know already leaning forward like this or if they are sitting in the chair they lean forward they support the chest like this with both the hands okay leaning forward relieves the chest symptoms okay hydrothorax what is hydrothorax hydrothorax is nothing but collection of serous fluid within the pleural cavities common cause of hydrothorax is cardiac failure but 
it is also frequently the result of renal failure and cirrhosis of the liver that means see the hydrothorax lot of collection of fluid in the pleural cavities it is because of maybe heart problem or because of kidney problem because of the liver problem okay heart liver and kidney problems the hydrothorax comes earlier also I explained about the hydrothorax so for this colicarb is an excellent remedy but symptoms you have to based on the symptoms not based on the pathology based on the name of the disease so total symptoms See, the person should feel comfortable leaning forward warm room comfortable all these things should be there then only it helps immediately somebody will put a sir hydrothorax my test report it shows hydrothorax can i use this they will put a message so symptoms symptoms totality of the symptoms are important palpitation and burning in the heart region palpitation and burning in the heart region weak rapid pulse intermits due to digestive disturbance sensation as if hot action suspended see sensation as if hot action is suspended for some time threatened heart failure threatened heart failure also this kalikar helps okay then next remedy is kalimur kalimur i told you ferrofos and kalimur are the drugs initially i was using so kalimur severe cough chest congestion bronchitis laryngitis croup pneumonia asthma all these things are helped by kalimur what are the symptoms again based on the symptoms okay not based on the name of the disease severe cough chest congestion bronchitis laryngitis croup pneumonia asthma with thick white phlegm difficult to expectorate cough short acute and spasmodic like oofing cough asthma due to indigestion after rich food or late food at night okay after asthmatic attacks of rich food oily food lot of oily food fried food is taken other day i told you one case the pujari used to take lot of ghee afterwards he used to get into lot of problem then further i advised kalimur kalimur has helped a lot so he wanted a big bottle of medicine so i told you same thing here asthma due to indigestion after rich food or late food at night loss of voice hoarseness all these conditions the symptom is thick white phlegm comes out when you spit it uh, that grayish white or white phlegm comes out and half of the tongue back portion of the tongue and back of the tongue and inside it is white coated white coated tongue front half of the tongue is okay or sometimes is one third of the tongue is not coated light coated or back of the tongue is thickly coated white and white phlegm comes out from the nose also white phlegm from the throat also white phlegm comes out so a solid lump it falls not stingy kali bicro becomes stingy stingy phlegm when kali more when it advances so what happens it becomes stingy then convert to kali bicromica then it becomes yellowish and stingy so in uh, uh, initially it will be kali more initially it will a solid lump it comes afterwards so it becomes stingy that is kali more ending and kali bicromica beginning that stage okay so all these conditions uh, kali more is an excellent 
remedy. Then another next remedy is creosotum. Creosotum hoarseness with pain in larynx. Hoarseness in pain in the larynx. Cough worse in the evening. Efforts to vomit. Pain in chest. He puts an effort to vomit. There is a pain in the chest. A raw burning in the chest. Pains and oppression. Difficult breathing. Cough after influenza. After after any flu. Winter coughs of old people with the heavy pressure and sternum. Sternum is this heavy pressure. Gangrene of lungs. See, gang is ill. Our lungs gets a lot of infection in the lungs. Finally, it turns gangrene. That means lungs will get totally get spoiled. So at that stage, creosotum helps very well. Gangrene of lungs after every cough, copious, purulent expectoration, copious, purulent expectoration, bleeding from the lungs, periodic attacks of bleeding. from the lungs feeling of feels sternum is pressed this is pressed hard such feeling all these conditions creosotum is an excellent remedy so with this i will stop today and i will continue with the remedies because why i am giving elaborate explanation because these are the problems mostly we are suffering many of us we don't know how to solve the problem and we are running to the hospital we have been put into the icu then icu is struggling for so many days whether if it comes out it is a lottery ticket if it does not come out that's all lot of money is lost person is lost so if you got this wide knowledge about this respiratory related problem sinus related problems so you can able to help your kith and kin your loved ones your loved children your loved wife your loved husband okay your loved parents a loved grandparents you can take care you can help that is the reason with a lot of you know uh, concern for people of your families i am sharing all this knowledge with a lot of you know explanation okay so don't feel that i am boring you okay my pranams to all of you my pranams to all the elders then my hearty blessings to youngsters thank you very much